Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this basic Minecraft dirt block inside of Blender. So, let's get started. Alright, so I'm in a brand new Blender file, and before I get to working on anything, I'm just going to clear up my workspace so it's a little easier to work on for what I'm going to be doing here. So right off the bat, the toolbar on the left of our screen is open, so I'm just going to press T and get rid of that so we have a little more room to work with. Down at the bottom, it also opens the timeline, and this is only really used for animating stuff. Since I'm just making a render, I won't need this. So I'm going to go to the bottom left corner of my 3D viewport, where there's this little triangle. And I'm going to left click on that and drag it down. And white arrow should appear over the uh, timeline at the bottom of your screen. When you release, it'll take up the screen, and then that's gone and we have more space to look at what we're working on. So, now that I got that out of the way, I'm going to start getting everything set up for my scene. So I'm going to press 3 and go into right view, and I'm going to press 5 and keep it in orthographic mode. I'm then going to grab the cube by its z-axis and just pull it up to that green line so it's right even on the ground. Now I'm going to press A to get rid of that, and shift A on the keyboard. Now this will bring me to the screen to add an object. So there's a couple of options here. What I want is to go into mesh and select the first one, which is a plane. I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to scroll up, and I'm just going to scale that out. I'm adding the plane just so that the render kind of has a floor to make it look more interesting and show the shadows, because that, I find, makes scenes look a lot better. So now that I'm done adding that, I'm going to press 5 and go back to perspective view. Alright, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to click on my cube and select it, and I'm going to drag across from the top right my 3D viewport and open a new screen. Now, right now it's just an identical copy, but if I go to the bottom in the left corner of the screen, where you see a, a cube that resembles the one we have on screen, I can left click and I can choose something else. So I'm going to go right up here to the UV image editor and I'm going to click on that. So now I've got this open, and right now there's nothing there but this blank grid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click tab in this 3D viewport on the left of your screen. And now that I have this here, I'm going to actually drag this back a bit so I can work here. Get the edge select. I'm going to go to edge select. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to prepare to UV unwrap this cube. So basically right now this cube is a 3D object and I have to make it flat. So if that doesn't make any sense, it should in a second. But what I'm going to start off right off the bat is I'm going to go to the top of this cube. And I'm going to select this edge, this edge, and this edge. Now that I have those all selected, I'm going to press Ctrl E and press Mark Seam. Alright, now that I've got that, I'll press A and deselect those. And I'm going to come right across and go to this side. And I'm going to select this edge, this edge underneath it, and this edge right here. Just those three. Press Ctrl E, Mark Seam. Now I've got those ones. I'm going to go over here and this edge right there. I'm going to control E and mark scene. Now I've got it just like I want it. So what I was doing there is basically ten telling Blender where to cut the object so that Blender could make it a 2D object. So now if I go into face select mode and I press A to select every face and I go to my keyboard and I press U, I'll click the first option there, unwrap. And you should see right in that node editor or UV image editor you opened that um, this 2D model of your 3D object here showed up. And it obviously it doesn't look anything like your cube, but what it is is it's all sides of those cubes in a 2D image so that you can add a texture to it. So now that we have this like here, I'm going to drag my uh, um, thing on the side out here a little bit, and I'm going to go to the Materials tab. So right now I just have a Material as our name. I'm going to rename this to Dirt, just so I know what I'm doing here. Then, before I do anything else, I'm going to go to the top of the screen, and I'm going to change it up here, right next to the Blender symbol on the top of the toolbar, where it says Blender Render. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to change it to Cycles Render. Cycles Render is basically the newer version of Blender Render that's more commonly used, and so this will work better for pretty much anything you're doing. Some people still use Blender Render, but you're probably just going to want to work with Cycles Render, especially if you're getting started since that's the one that's still being updated right now. So now that I have selected, my Materials tab 
should show a use node button. But before I can do anything with that, I need one more window. So I'm gonna drag another window out from the bottom here. And the same way I changed this one to an image editor, I'm gonna click and I'm going to change this one to a node editor with those two squares connected by a wire. So I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna press N while I'm hovering my mouse over it to get rid of that uh, toolbar on the side. Now I've got this blank grid, just like our image editor started out. So I'm going to go over to my materials tab, and under surface, click use nodes. Now I've got these two squares here that popped up. I have my material output and my diffuse BSDF. So what I'm going to want to do is scroll over here using the middle mouse button, and click shift and A, the same way we add in an object. But this will add a node this time. So I'm going to go to texture, and image texture. This is where I'm going to use my texture for the dirt cube. So the texture I'm using, I got offline, and there's a link to that one in the description. So if you want to get that one and you can follow along and get the results the same way I did, I'll make sure there's a link to that and you can just go download that one and then come back here. So once you have that downloaded, I'm going to click open and you want to go to where you saved that file. So here I'm going to go grab it where I put it and open it. So now I've got that all open in this thing and I'm going to drag this yellow circle that says color into the yellow circle on the diffuse node. So now that I have those together if I press shift and z while hovering over the 3d view part this will make it so I can see the texture. I can see my texture. Obviously this doesn't look like what you probably had in mind because Blender doesn't know where to put the texture. So now that we have it UV unwrapped, we can actually tell Blender where we want it to put the texture. So I'm going to go back to my image editor up at the top right, and I'm going to go to this little picture next to the new button right here. And I can click that, and I can choose the Minecraft cube texture or whatever you saved the texture as. And I'll click that. And now we can see that we have these two shapes that are very similar, but they just don't quite line up. So, for each one of these little dots you see here, you can actually move them all one at a time. Right now they're all selected. If you press A, it'll deselect all of them. If you right click, you can select them one at a time. If you right click and hold, you can move them around. And what you want to do is line up all of these onto the squares. So you'll want to take this one and make sure it's lined up right to the corner up here. And you want to make this as accurate as possible for each one of these, because the more accurate it is, the better your texture is going to look on here. If you kind of do a sloppy job and you put them over there, your texture is going to look really weird, because that's not how it's meant to work. So you want to line it up as close as possible. You can use the middle mouse button to scroll in if you really want to make sure you're getting it close. And you just go through each one of those and make sure you line them up as good as you can. And you just keep going through those and lining them up and make sure everything is lined up. And you just keep doing that for every one of these. So I'm going to cut to when I'm all done and you can pause the video and finish this and get everything good to go. Alright, I'll see you in a second. Alright, so now I'm done finished uh, matching up all those dots, all those vertices to my image and you can see it looks all good and everything matches up. So there's a couple final touches I'm going to add to the scene just to make it look real nice. So you can keep it like this if you want or you can follow along and I'll just kind of spruce it up a little bit to make it look better. Uh, so if you're going to stick with me and make it look better, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, head down to the node editor we applied. And just like we added that image texture, I'm going to press shift A. This time instead of going to texture, I'm going to go to shader right above it and go up and click on Glossy BSDF and I'm going to drag that in. So I have Glossy and Diffuse BSDF and you can only put one in at a time but Glossy looks ridiculous and will ruin my texture so I don't want that one. So what I'm going to do is use a new node that will combine both of those. So I'm going to press Shift A again I'm going to go to Shader and I'm going to go to Mix Shader and I'm going to click this one in right here and I'll drag it so this one will connect to it by default, and I'll drag this one in too, and that'll mix both of those. But right now that's a little too glossy, 
So I can change that where it says FAC under Mix Shader. I'm just going to dial this down until it looks about right. That way the object has a little bit of gloss, but not too much that it ruins the scene. Alright, now that I've got that, I'm going to press Shift Z to go back to object mode, or not object mode, but solid rendering mode, so it looks the way it should. And I'm going to press Tab to go to object mode. And I'm going to work on my lighting a little bit, just to make the scene look a little nicer. So, I'm actually going to go back to Shift Z now, that I'm in object mode. And I can just mess around with the light here, till I figure out what I want to do. So right now I'm in the lamp tab, that's what you're going to want to go to, over on the right. And there's a couple options under lamp. We have point, which is what it's on right now. Sun, which is very bright. Spot, which is obviously a spotlight. And then these other options that you don't really need to be concerned about right now. So I'm going to use a point light right now. And what I'm going to do is just take this point light and I'm going to go out of rendered mode. Press Shift Z. And I'm going to move it over the cube a little more. Just like that. So that things look a little better. But because I want the shadow to kind of fall on the right so it looks a bit more you know, less perfect, you know, looks more interesting, kind of. I'm going to kind of just slide that over until I get the texture I'm looking for. So, like, right sort of, like, in front of the cube, like that. Put it straight in front of it. That looks pretty good to me. Maybe a bit over this way. And you just kind of fine-tweak that, and you keep working with that until you get whatever you like there. And so, to me, that looks all good. So, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go out of rendered mode, Shift-Z, and I'm going to right click on this triangle right here. This is the camera. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to press 0. So right now, when I press 0, it takes me to this rectangle view. This is the view out of your camera. So when you render the scene, this is what you're going to see. So I'm going to press Shift C and see what it looks like. It looks good, but I think I could use moving it to the right a little bit and maybe moving it up a little. So I'm going to move it over this way a tiny tiny bit there, and I'm going to press 0 again, and check, does that look better? Yeah, that looks better, I like that, so, now I'm going to move it up a little, press 0, I check, that's a little too high, so I'll just move that down, press 0 again, and I'll move it to the left a little, press 0, and that looks good, I like that, so all I'm going to do is press object mode, select that plane we were using, and I'll scale that a bit more, so it looks better in our scene. Scale it actually a bit more even. And I'll press 0, Shift Z, and I can check it out. That's what it's going to look like. I think that looks good. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to come over here to this camera. I'm going to select this camera. And underneath where it says Render, there's a button that says Render. I'm going to click this. And this will start the rendering process. So this is just going to take that camera, and it's going to make a nice picture out of it that you can save as a PNG image and it'll be high resolution and look look really good. So this is going to take a minute to render, depending on how good your computer is, you know, could take a couple seconds, could take, you know, a couple of minutes, but mine's just about done. So I'm just going to let this render finish, and as soon as it finishes, I'm going to show you how to save it as a PNG file, so you can just have it as a normal image. So now that I've got it right here, and it's all done rendering, you want to come back when it's all done, and go down to the bottom click image. Click that and then go to save as image right there and you just want to save it wherever you need it. So I'm going to save it on my desktop as Minecraft Brick or Minecraft Dirt. That will work. Minecraft Dirt.png. Save as image and now that should be saved as a PNG on my desktop. So taking a minute to load but you can see that I now have this PNG as an image and so that's how you make a Minecraft cube in Blender thanks for watching I'll see you later